On cold, stormy night, an elderly man and his wife entered the lobby of a small hotel in Philadelphia to shelter from the storm. The couple was desperate for an overnight shelter. The elderly man requested the front desk clerk. We'd like a room, please. The clerk, a young man, tried to accommodate the couple, but unfortunately the hotel was booked out. However, he did not want to send them in the rain, so he offered carefully. I can't send a nice couple like you out in the rain. Would you perhaps be willing to sleep in my room? It's not exactly a suite, but it will make you folks comfortable. Hesitatingly, the couple took up his offer. After a night's rest, the elderly man, while paying the bill next morning, told the clerk. Finding people who are both friendly and helpful is rare these days. You are the kind of manager who should be the boss of the best hotel in the United States. Maybe someday I'll build one for you. The clerk smiled and bade the couple goodbye. Two years later, the clerk received a letter recounting that fateful night in Philadelphia, along with a ticket to New York. Also enclosed was a one-way ticket to New York along with a note asking the clerk to leave for the city immediately. The couple received him in New York, and after a short exchange of pleasantries the elderly man took the clerk to Park Avenue and pointed towards a towering new building and said, That is the hotel I'd like you to manage. The clerk in this story was George Bolt, and the elderly man was William Waldorf Astor. And the building was the Waldorf Astoria Hotel. Some called this the origin of the Waldorf principle of selfless service, others an urban legend. This anecdote is a good example of how selfless service to others will one day return to benefit you. Don't forget, when we serve others, our influence increases as well. Here's a quote from Zig Ziglar. You can have everything in life you want if you just help enough people get what they want.